Hi everyone, Imran here with another tutorial on how to place a factory image or update your Google Pixel phone using the Android Place tool. It is one of the easiest tools to update, unroot or unbreak your Google Pixel phone. You don't have to do anything like running the ADB or fastboot commands or using a complicated tool. It is literally just connect your phone to PC and follow the on-screen instructions. In this video, I will guide you step by step through the process to ensure your device is updated safely without breaking your device. Now, without further wasting your time, open the settings app on your phone. Scroll down and tap on about phone. Scroll down again and tap on the build number to enable developer options. Confirm your pin code. Go back and tap on system. Now scroll down and here is the developer option. Tap on it. Now make sure OEM unlocking is enabled. Allow the bootloader to be unlocked and scroll down to enable USB debugging as well. Toggle the switch to the right. Tap on OK. Now go back and connect your phone to PC using a USB cable. Now open Google Chrome browser on your PC. This tool only works with Chrome browser, so make sure you have Google Chrome browser installed. Type place.android.com. The link is given in the description of this video. This will open Android Place tool. Click on Allow ADB Access and select your device. Now, as you can see, here are the popular builds available for your phone. Android 14 preview is also available which is beta version for Android developers. Also the Android 13 June 2023 beta is also there. Click on back to public. Now here you will get options. I normally select the default option. Now this will wipe factory reset your phone. Also will lock the bootloader. You can edit these options by clicking on this icon. Now here you get the option to wipe your device and lock the bootloader. If you uncheck this, it will not lock the bootloader or wipe your device. So I am checking these options. If you don't want to lock the bootloader, then uncheck. Here are the advanced options. Now click on install build. Now again here you will get the firmware information and a warning that it will erase wipe data factory reset your phone and during the process please do not disconnect your phone. Accept the terms and conditions. Click on allow. Now it will prepare your device for installation. and your phone will boot into passport mode you don't have to do anything it will do it automatically now as you can see my phone is connected in passport mode next it will ask you to unlock the bootloader if your bootloader is locked now Reselect your device. I will reselect my device. You may or may not get this option. I will click on reselect the device. Select your device again and click on connect. Now unlock the bootloader. Click on start button and pick up your phone and select the unlock bootloader using volume keys and confirm using power key. Now my device bootloader is unlocked. Now it will start downloading the software. It depends on your download speed. So you need to have some patience while it downloads the software. 
Once the software is downloaded, it will reboot your device and install the software. During the installation process, your device will reboot multiple times. It can take up to 5 minutes. Now again it will ask you to log the bootloader. Now click on the start button to log the bootloader. Again select the option using the volume keys. Log the bootloader and confirm the option using power key. And click done on your PC. Now waiting for the device to reboot. Now installation completed. The build has been successfully installed. It is now safe to unplug your device. You can disconnect your phone. And now it will take you to the setup screen again. Tap on get started. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. Accept the terms and conditions. And here is your phone. If you have found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.